Hey what's up guys, it's officially my one year anniversary for my channel. I'm really glad that I'm able to do things like this. It's a lot of fun for me as gaming is my hobby. So since it is my one year anniversary I thought let's look back at the year. So yeah, let's look at the statistics of um, everything we've been doing the last year. My first video launched in March 4th of course, which is where my channel was made. Uh, back then I didn't have a mic, back then I didn't have a proper setup I will show some pictures of my uh, previous setup and I'll show some pictures of what it is now um, since I've been doing a lot like rebuilding my room um, getting new desks um, redoing all the wiring I've done a lot of stuff you will see it in the pictures and I will show, show it to you but first the statistics of this past year wait let, can I put it on lifetime because it's a lifetime anyway so actually let's see as you can see, watch time, a whopping 44,000 minutes have my videos been watched. Um, I actually never thought it would be this high anywhere in my life when I would be doing something. And especially not in the first year. Average view duration, 2 minutes, that's not very long, at least that doesn't sound very long. <laughs> The amount of views, 18,416, <laughs> which is a lot if you ask me, I mean it's not to compare to these big channels of course, but for me personally, as just somebody who's doing this um, as a hobby, <laughs> it's quite a lot. 182 likes, nice, always nice, and always a couple of dislikes, there will always be dislikes of course. 81 comments, nice. Um, hopefully that will rise in the future of course because it's always nice to see some feedback and to get feedback in the comments and to get feedback from you guys 23 shares always nice probably on the unboxing videos I'm guessing <laughs> videos in the playlist 166 nice uh, as you can see for my total videos does it say that somewhere it was something like a hundred or something the reason why it's lower is because I've taken a lot of videos down which I made when my channel started because I wasn't really happy about them um, since I didn't have anything like my voice in it or anything and it was more like just gameplay and I thought well that's not too interesting so let's add something more and of course um, I wasn't as experienced with the copyright rules and stuff like that so I am now a lot more but I still got a lot to learn of course and I will keep learning and improving of course 31 subscribers nice nice always nice uh, to see it increase uh, let's see top 10 videos oh I really hated that this is one of the top videos it's the only reason it is in the top is if you have seen it uh, on my channel is because I got like to play the game a month early due to a crash in the Xbox store which I accidentally discovered because I was like oh, oh the game is coming out today like XCOM 2 is coming out today because I marked it wrongly in my calendar so I started it up played the game and um, made some recordings with the game DVR not even with my Elgato but just with the game DVR and the reason why is because I didn't think it was any special at all and I was playing and then the, um, I think later that night I suddenly couldn't play it anymore and it said like um, you're too early and I was like I looked up the release date for the game and it was like 20 more days before release or something so <laughs> that was quite special and that's the only reason that one got so many views but I'm really unhappy about it about that video in particular because oh it just I didn't have any video editing software oh my god what did I do sorry I didn't have any video editing software back then and it's recorded with the game DVR so it's really really bad quality so I didn't really like it because I did have my Elgato back then so it was quite painful for me but it's my best video for the only reason of it being a month early so in the next best video Watch Dogs 2 Collects Edition unboxing I'm really happy about that I really love doing these unboxings um, and it has taught me a lot on how to work with a camera which is a uh, those interested, let me look what the type is. It's a Canon 600D. Um, let's see, the third video. Oh, what is my PC crashing? 
Rainbow Six Siege Terror is on realistic difficulty. Oh my god, I can't even do that anymore. I used to be so good in Rainbow Six, like in the first season, I could easily do the realistic difficulty in Terrorist Hunt. But right now, man, Jesus, I can't even do that anymore. I just, I haven't played it enough and I'm playing too many different games. So the fourth video is the mic test for the SRA50, which is very understandable because there was a lot of um, comments on the internet, people saying that it was a bad mic, people saying it was a good mic. But nobody was really like showing the quality of the mic, so I thought why not do that myself because that was my problem when I wanted to borrow mine, of course. Okay, after that is keyboard support for the Xbox One. Understandably as well, I didn't know this either. It has been like around for, I think two years now or so, because it was like in February 2015. And I've been using a keyboard on my Xbox ever since, because it's so, so nice doing uh, for chatting of course, and just for typing in general if you want to search something or controlling uh, for example YouTube you've got the the hotkeys like uh, J K L like J is go 10 seconds back K is stop pausing and playing the video L is like skipping 10 seconds ahead stuff like that it's got a lot a lot of shortcuts like that in different apps which is really really useful okay Gears War 4 PvP uh, beta gameplay okay 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 understandably as well um, and as I said I always play in as many betas as I can so as well in Gears of War okay after that Watch Dogs 2 gameplay Watch Dogs 2 I made some content on that when that came out maybe I will do some content in the future but for the DLCs which are coming out but I'm not sure if I have the time of course because um, well there are a lot of games coming out uh, in March Ghost Recon Wildlands is on its way which I really Really gonna play at launch, of course, as well as Mass Effect, which I'm really big fan of. Okay, some more Gears War and some more Watch Dogs. Oh, and this deep closed beta giveaway. Yeah, sometimes I get like extra codes from Ubisoft, and then I will be giving these away, but it doesn't happen too often. But when I get them, I will be giving them away. I think I will do it differently than I did in that video where I just put them into the video. I think I will just give them to subscribers in the future um, if I can but yeah it depends on if I get extra codes or not so yeah as I said I will be showing a bit more of my setup and um, what you see here is of course the green screen behind me which I'm going to use for a whole game series in the future this is how my Xbox One is standing um, above my screen of course here you can see um, so yeah my laptop is on my desk and my TV and keyboard and controller as of course the microphone as well and that's pretty much it for the rest it's nice and clean as you can see um, the wiring is all going um, in these rails in these white things in the, on the wall and I've tried to make my setup as clean as possible of course place my gears worn accessory books upstairs or um, on top of course near my consoles because that looks really really cool I thought as well as a gear of gears of war hard drive my headset and the base station is up there from the Astro A50 um, and as you can see you can see the case for my 360 which is the Gears of War case can't support Gears of War too much um, since I'm a really big fan of course and for those wondering what's behind the green because you can't see it there's a closet as you can see here it uh, houses my Kinect for both my 360 as well for the Xbox One because back in the day you couldn't buy the Xbox One without a Kinect and I bought mine um, as you can see there are a lot of controllers there for the 360, I've got 5 controllers and for the Xbox One I've got 2 Elites, or 3 Elites sorry, um, as well as the standard Xbox One controller which came with the console which is in the back. So as you can see the boxes under there from the A50 headset, from the Vault, from the case for the 360, as well as a crate for the uh, Gears of War collectibles. Um, the Paddles for my steering wheel and my steering wheel in itself, um, and the hidden blade for accessories. I've got a lot more boxes, of course, but they are elsewhere in my room. As you can see here, we've got the collectibles from the Ubisoft game on the top shelf, which are the wearable collectibles. Under that are my games. They are not all my games. I've got some more laying around. Under that, you can easily see more statues and collectors uh, cases, boxes, of course. Um, and under in this closet are a lot more. 
uh, boxes of all the collector's editions. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in my setup. That's pretty much my room. So yeah, as I said, this was my one year anniversary. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.